Hi, Henning and Morten from Flip Normals here. In this video, we're going to check out some top productivity tools for working in Windows. Just some general things which will just make your life a lot easier when doing pretty much anything art related. So first thing we're going to look at is a tool called PureRef. PureRef is the best thing since space. It pretty much allows you to put in an image on top of your screen. It sounds simple, but it's magical. Let's say you're working in uh, ZBrush and you want some reference on top of this. What a lot of people do, they have second monitors, but even so you have to move your, your gaze from one monitor to the next, and that's a lot of effort. So what the clever guys at PureRef have done, they have allowed made a tool here, which allows you to simply just drag and drop the images in. Whatever it is you need, you can just drag them in here. If you hit the hotkey, Control shift a this is going to stay on top now. So if you're just working here in ZBrush and you're sculpting around, super nice. You can, um, you can just look at your reference. You can use the scroll wheel just to zoom in. You can just, um, you can rearrange them by simply just dragging them around. You can move the entire thing around just by holding the right mouse button. This is really handy. Uh, if you hit the control R key, you can lock them. So now you can now you can use left mouse button to just pan around like this. I think the staying on top feature, you know, on top of the window feature, that's definitely my favorite thing about pure ref. Yeah. Like Henning says, you don't have to look at another monitor. You can just have it there on the screen directly. Yeah, the hotkey for that is control shift A. The main advantage there is like, let's say you're matching up something from this beautiful thing here to this guy. Your eye just has to go from this point to this point. If you're it sounds trivial, but when you have multiple monitors, you actually have to move your head. <laughs> it's a small thing, but it makes a big difference. Yeah. If you want to drag in more images, you just unlock it again by hitting Control R. Now you can drag in multiple images. And they're all going to be arranged now. To arrange them further, you can uh, right click, you can select them all, you can right click, you can go to. Um, Images, arrange, and here we can go optimal, or we can sort them by by name. So this is quite handy. So that's the first tool we're going to look at, pure ref. Uh, a super cool thing is that you can save your refs. Yes. So you can save it out as a ref file, and then whenever you need this thing again, you just load it back in, and then you don't have to rearrange all your references all over if, yeah. you're, if you're working on the same file. Yeah, that's something we've been doing a lot when we work on characters for like weeks. You can just load them in, and you can just have your exact same one as you had last time. This has saved me a lot of time of just like, I open up Photoshop and I keep having a Photoshop file open for days yeah. while I'm working on it. PureRef has just pretty much replaced that for me. Yeah, it's free and it's available for all platforms, so Windows, Mac and uh, Linux. And Linux. So the next one we're gonna look at is one called Alt-Drag. This is also free software. This is only available for Windows, unfortunately. Uh, this, is, this is native in Linux. Uh, as well, which is also which is where I started using this. After using Linux for a while, I couldn't I couldn't work in Windows without this feature. Essentially, what it allows you to do is you can you can move Windows around here by holding down the Windows key and just dragging here. And you can also resize the Windows by holding down the Windows key and right mouse button on it. You, you can see it gets a bit funky, but that's fine. It's just it's just so handy. Yeah, that, that's the feature I miss from Linux the most. Yeah, resizing your Windows without necessarily having to precisely line yeah. up your cursor at that. What you have to do otherwise is you have to go all the way up here and you have to select this. Now you can just go. Yeah. This is one of the most handy tools. So Windows key and you can just click on it or Windows key and right mouse button. If you go into the settings here, you have to change some things. So if you go to um, mouse and keyboard, first thing you have to do here, you have to set, cha change this from uh, from left alt key to left windows key. The reason I changed this is simply because you use the alt key for more things. For instance, if you're navigating Maya, you would use left left alt key and left mouse button. So you can't actually use this one in default settings. So go to your set preferences and change this to left windows key. Here you can also change what it's doing. So uh, left mouse button is moving, middle mouse is uh, middle mouse and um, right mouse is uh, resize the window. You can also change um, right middle mouse to be always on top. This is also incredibly handy. So that, um, yeah, toggle always on top. So this, this window would now always be on top of whatever window you have. I have a really hard time using a computer now without alt drag, because this is just such a handy feature. Next one we're gonna look at is one called Flux. Flux is amazing. We can't actually show this in the video, because I don't <laughs> think it works. But um, essentially, 
it adjusts the color of your screen based on the time of day. So you know when you're sitting on a computer and it's incredibly bright, it has this like nasty blue glow onto your eyes and you can't sleep and it's miserable. This here makes everything, um, everything nice and orange and uh, it just makes your entire user experience so much more pleasurable. Uh, at night yeah during the day you know it doesn't really matter because the light from outside is, is pretty blue as yeah. well and it's a sort of the same environment but as you get closer to the evening you want to sort of limit how much or or how much blue light sorry gets into your eyes because it's it's you stare at it all day you get headaches and yeah it's, it's actually just... influencing your sleep as well it's yeah. really nasty so I, I also have a really hard time working without Flux on a computer. That's the first thing I installed because I, I I feel physically sick if I look at the if I stare at the blue light for too long in a dark room. One thing to keep in mind is you probably shouldn't paint, like do console thing nope. or texturing <laughs> with Flux on yeah. because you know you'll have a everything will be like shifted towards the yellows. Yeah. Uh, doing that, so you know, remember to disable it if you're painting. So yeah. if you're painting at night, uh, then you're uh, out of luck. I know way too many people <laughs> who finish their textures of paintings, and they realize, <laughs> oh shit, Flux was on. <laughs> so the next one is one called Light Shot. Light Shot is super handy for taking screenshots. It it maps to the screenshot button, and if you just hit it, you can see what happens. You can select an area. And now you can um, just hit Control C to just copy it, and you can paste this into any email editor or, or Facebook or whatever it is. I use this all the time when when doing anything, particularly for like just if you want to have like a super quick solution from from like a, a 3D software from ZBrush whatever into Photoshop. I just select select the area I want to have here, select this, and just Control C, and I can just paste this into Photoshop right away really useful. I also use this for annotations as well. So you can do this and you can click on this little guy here and you can do nice. This is just handy if you just need to do some extremely quick annotation. Like you just need to have to drag on a map. This is where treasure is. Yeah, you don't want to get up the snipping tool or yeah. like it's just it speeds up everything. Yeah. You can also go down here and you can save the image. I do this all the time when doing when doing work in progress images. So these are all the four tools or softwares we will look into. The next one is uh, using multiple desktops in Windows. This is a new feature in Windows, in Windows 10. This is something that other operating systems have had for ages, but only just came fairly recently to Windows. What this means is if you hit Windows key and the tab key, all your images pops up here. And down here, you can see you have a button called new desktop. I'm just gonna delete these guys because uh, they're empty. So we can hit new desktop. And now we have a new desktop here. So what we can do, we can go here and we can, for instance, drag in Maya in one of them, hit new desktop, and we can drag in ZBrush in one of them. I do, I use this quite a, quite a bit with different software. So if you're using a trackpad on a laptop, you can use the three fingers to swipe left to right. If uh, you're on a Windows or if you're on a regular keyboard, you can hold like control, Windows key, and use the arrow keys to toggle between them. And it works exactly the same for Mac, actually. Yeah. So the Mac OS has had this feature for also a while. I think the same with Linux. Yeah. And it's the same with the multi-gesture thing. You swipe with three fingers and control and, and the the keys, the arrow keys sort of left and right to, yeah. to go to the next desktop. It's really quite handy. So yeah, just control, Windows key. I use this, uh, the way I, I usually use this is um, I have my 3D software in one and I have uh, like a Spotify or whatever music service you use in one and uh, maybe your, your browser in one. It just keeps everything focused so you don't get distracted. So that's pretty much it for um, for this productivity video. We, I hope you found this to be really useful. These tools are tools that we can't really work without. They just speed everything up.